Welcome back to the AI Daily Brief. Today we are talking about some leaks around the forthcoming Meta Llama 3.1405B model. As Didi from Menlo Ventures puts it, this is potentially the biggest news in AI in several weeks. Llama 3.1405B leaked day before on 4chan and obliterates GPT-40 on most benchmarks. Writes Runway Siki Chen, for the first time ever, an open source model is state of the art, outperforming OpenAI's GPT-40 and Anthropic's Sonnet 3.5 across multiple benchmarks. So today we are going to talk about what we have learned so far about Llama 3.1405B and what the implications are of the full closure of the gap between open source and closed source. Now to go back, we have been waiting for some time for Meta's largest Llama 3 model. About a week and a half ago, we got reports from the information and others that Meta was planning on releasing the 405 billion parameter version of Llama 3 today on July 23rd. Back in April, we got two smaller models from Llama 3, including the 8 billion and 70 billion parameter models, but this was always going to be the big show. In a post last week about why we should care about this release, Tom's Guide wrote, The Llama 3 400B model is particularly exciting as it approaches performance parity with OpenAI's GPT-40 model despite using less than half the parameters. Apart from the potential benefits to cost and energy efficiency, there's another significant advantage. One of the most compelling aspects of Llama 3 is its open license for research and commercial use. If the 400B model is released under the same open license, it would democratize access to state-of-the-art language capabilities, allowing researchers and developers to leverage this powerful tool for their projects without relying on expensive proprietary APIs. Still, as Tom's Guide pointed out, there had also been some scuttlebutt that Meta was not going to exactly open source this model. Notorious OpenAI leaker Jimmy Apples wrote, Meta plans to not open the weights for its 400B model. The hope is that we would quietly not notice and let it slide. Don't let it slide. He followed up saying Dustin Moskovitz, who is one of the big funders of the EA space and the AI safety movement, is, quote, having a loud voice to the ears of lab CEOs behind doors. Then later, however, Jimmy Apples updated to say apparently at the moment, they do plan to open source it despite Dustin's objections to Zuck. Open source AI advocate and AI CEO Bindu Reddy made this prediction. In a couple of days, we will stop talking about politics, hopefully. Llama 405B will be the topic of the day. The gap between the closed and open weight models will finally close. And indeed, that is what seems to have happened, at least with the information we have so far. Matthew Berman says, suddenly the world has access to an open source model considered state of the art. It beats GPT-40 on many benchmarks. What a time to be alive. Data Economy writes, in a dramatic turn of events, early benchmarking data for the forthcoming Llama 3.1b models, including 8b, 70b, and the colossal 405b, were leaked on the local Llama subreddit today. The preliminary results suggest that Llama 3.1405b could potentially surpass the performance of the current industry leader, OpenAI's GPT-40, across several critical benchmarks. Should that happen, it would represent the first instance of an open source model eclipsing a leading closed source LLM. And a couple other things that the community has honed in on. Hold aside the question of whether it is the state of the art and which of the benchmarks we should care most about. If these benchmarks are anywhere close to accurate, the thing that is for sure is that it is a GPT-40 class model. In the same way that we can debate around whether GPT-40 or Claude 3.5 Sonnet is exactly the better or more performant model, this would add Llama 3.405b to that conversation. It's important to note here that in addition to Llama 3.1405b, we're also getting the 3.1 updates to the 8b and 70b models. Maxime LeBon writes, the new 70B also looks insane with a significant boost of performance compared to the previous version. And that, I think, is a part of the story that is actually flying a little bit under the radar comparatively, i.e. how much better these smaller models have gotten as well. Chris at HingeLoss also noted that there seemed to be an updated license which removed the prohibition on using Llama 3 to improve other models. He used DiffChecker to compare the 3.1 versus 3 Llama license. Going back to this idea that the big story once everything settles might be the smaller models, Kyle Corbett points out that if the leaked benchmarks are correct, Llama 3.170b beats GPT-40 Mini. Aiden McLeod really sums it up when he says, if these Llama 3.405 benchmarks are real, this will be the world's best model, in the hands of everyone to tune, cheaper than GPT-40. It's hard to overstate how fast everything is changing. Picking up on some of the themes that we were discussing in yesterday's show about the move of competition to the smaller end of the spectrum, Leighton Spaces Swix called what's happening the under 100B model red wedding. He writes, I do not think that people who criticize OpenAI have sufficiently absorbed the magnitude of disruption that has happened because of 4O Mini. He points out that both Llama 370B and GPT 4O Mini score an 82 on the MMLU, but GPT 4O Mini is priced at a sixth of the price of Llama 370B. He points out that many of the models that were state-of-the-art just three months ago are now being dominated by new counterparts. Swix writes, what's the depreciation rate on the flops it took to train them? 
GPT-4 took 500 million to train and it lasted a year. Intelligence too cheap to meter, but also too ephemeral to support greater than five players doing R&D. Is there an angle here I'm missing? Swix also compared the new 3.1 benchmarks to Llama 3.0 and came to the conclusion that there was a huge bump for the 8B and that the Instruct 70B is mildly better, but that the 405B is still behind flagship models. Now, we are slated to actually get this model today and should be able to independently start verifying these benchmarks, and until then we won't know exactly what the situation is. However, if things are close to what they appear to be, we really are, it appears, living in a new paradigm where open source has by and large caught up and closed the gap with closed source. One thing I will be watching is whether that prompts OpenAI and Anthropic to release new models that redefine the state of the art once again. For now, though, pretty interesting times, lots to pay attention to. And of course, I appreciate you hanging out and listening or watching as always. Until next time, peace.